one child, one man addicted to drugs, can cause a family, parents, siblings, deep anguish. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime reported in 2020 that about 35 million people around the world suffer from drug addiction. In Nigeria, our youths between 25 and 39 litter our streets, hooked on tramadol, smoking lizard parts and dung, sniffing glue, petrol, sewage and urine. Indeed, Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, during the launch of the war against drug abuse, stated that the danger posed by illicit drugs is worse than the impact of insurgency, banditry and other threats to the nation's stability. According to Quartz Africa, about 14.3 million people in Nigeria use psychoactive drug substances. The agony to families, the danger to national development is stark. That's why His Love Foundation stepped in to see how we can help to rescue these precious lives. So we set up KDAM, a world-class facility in Ekbe, Lagos State, to rehabilitate these victims of drug addiction. This, for us, is a solemn responsibility to rescue our youths from the fatal grip of drug addiction. If the development of our families, and indeed our nation, is not to be mortally breached. His Love Foundation has since rehabilitated about 3,000 addicts. I was a polio drug addict. That is to say, I use a combination of many drugs. From marijuana, alcohol, mattress, ACD, vitamin, and all of that, until finally I got introduced to cocaine, which I used for 27 years. December 1969, I had a taste of tobacco for the first time. By December 1970, I started doing marijuana. By 1983, I entered coke, and that was the end of the story. Relationships were broken. My teenage dreams were aborted. I had some stint in uh, crime. Eventually, because of my drug addiction years, I lost my wife. My father later died in 1986, and I was on the street. My mommy died in 1989. My elder sister, that's the one who took me to London for the first time. Died 1989 June, and I was left all alone on the street. I got fed up and I was contemplating suicide. It was that time that I made Kada when I was contemplating suicide. I appreciate God and appreciate Kadam, I appreciate the Redeemed Christian Church of God for making me to, first of all, to find Christ in whom I find purpose, and I'm, by the grace of God, I'm fulfilling it. Wow, I never knew my life would change like this. I never knew I would be a landlord. I never knew I would present the church to the university. I want to bless God for the vision of this rehabilitation that the Redeemed Christian Church of God has. And me too, I have practically seen 11 and a half years of work in Kada. And I bless God for bringing them on the scene to rescue those that are perishing due to drug addiction. But there are still more thousands in desperate need of help and hope. That's why we are inviting you to join us as a partner to build more facilities to save these victims and to restore their life and dignity. All you need to do is to contribute 1,000 Naira a month or 12,000 Naira for one year and you will be our partner. And together, we can help these victims to turn the corner and begin a new life with 1,000 Naira. And guess what? If you commit 12,000 Naira at once, you'll get 
1 million naira personal accident insurance and that covers both road and domestic accidents plus 100,000 naira reimbursement for medical expenses courtesy our insurance partners for details visit our website join us be a change maker be a partner his love foundation love in action